Hey folks, it's Mike. I'm at Birds Hill Park uh, again, uh, but this time I'm here for a couple of days. Welcome to my safari adventure, a uh, uh, camping adventure. Uh, as you can see, I've got a nice big tent uh, where I can put uh, my entire photographic studio and a bed and maybe even a sink and a fridge and a stove. Not a bathroom though. I gotta work on that. Anyway. Let's go. All right, last stage. Ouch. Why should I blow up an air mattress when I've got a pump to do it for me? Although, here's hoping it doesn't take like three hours to inflate. Ugh, that would suck. All right, time to see if I can get a nice sunset shot. Sadly, um, I was trying to catch a nice sunset on the lake there. I think I got there a little too late. Uh, still some nice views, you know. It's a beach, sunset, you know, go figure. Better luck tomorrow. We're here for another couple days. I will say, uh, campfires are pretty, uh, pretty soothing, pretty uh, relaxing. I'm just sitting here watching this fire and just, I could probably fall asleep, but I'm also enjoying the warmth from this. Of course, it's, uh, it's going to be a late night and an early morning, um, like uh, tonight around oh, midnight to about 1, 1.30, we're going to get the uh, Milky Way across the sky right about here, uh, and then uh, i got to get up for about 5 a.m. to feed my cats. Uh, you know, we got nobody taking care of them, so i got to drive back into the city and uh, then drive back. Want me to cut some wood for you? Maybe quarter after five in the morning. I may have had a crap amount of sleep, but uh, yeah. Coming up to a scene like this, oof, oof. yeah, you get the fog and you get that tree there, uh, yeah. I mean, I will say fog really helps in you know, like woodland scenarios like this where it's it separates things. I, yeah, the lack of sleep is definitely worth this. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm here to feed you. <laughs> 
not sure if you can hear it, but uh, in the distance you're hearing those uh, construction sounds. Um, I think the uh, deer are actually building an addition to the park. Um, not sure, but uh, yeah. I'm on the uh, the hunt to uh, to photograph some birds. Oh wait, hunt's probably not a good word to use. I'm, I'm just out to to photograph some birds. Yeah. I think I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, trail. Yeah, trail. Honest. And uh, as you can see, this isn't all just a you know woodland trail. It uh, opens up to this uh, nice prairie grass land and uh, just as nice as a woodland uh, trail. It's, uh, I, I mean, who parks their, their horse next to a no parking sign, honestly? We're the cops. Somebody needs to get ticketed. Ugh. So are you guys horsing around much? Notice the uh, the horse on the left here. He's he's got some what look like leg warmers, so uh, must be leading a uh, an aerobics class, uh, you know, a la Jane Fonda style. Um, no pain, no gain. Is that what she said? I don't know. Stop horsing around, guys. It's, uh, it's been a little hot today. Uh, of course, it's been a little hot in summer, but uh, uh, so hot that uh, I tried to nap in the tent earlier and uh, couldn't because it was too hot. Not much breeze going on, so that doesn't help either. Figured I'd come to the beach and hang out. But then again, I really only got my feet wet. But it's, it's summer, it's better than winter. Well, they do say busy as a beaver, and well, this beaver was busy. 
Go figure. So anyway, uh, back at the beach again uh, for some more sunset this time. I'm here earlier. Let's see if this works. Uh, I, I, I don't know what kind of uh, sea creature this is. Uh, it, that's, that's a pretty big footprint. That's gotta be a good couple meters. Uh, it took two days, but uh, finally got a nice uh, sunset here. Um, I'm just not going to wade into the water to uh, take a nice low down shot, because uh, last time I did that I risked uh, dunking my camera in the lake. Of course, I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, I'm at a beach and I forgot to bring my flip-flops. Yeah. So ends another lifeguarding day. And uh, now they wheel away the lifeguard station and, um, I don't know, put it in a kennel? I don't know what they do. Yay! Some clouds actually give us some something interesting in the sky. Yay! I'm happy. Oh, I will say one thing about the beach. Crying kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That could be Birdtail Park's latest axe murderer. <laughs> oh dear. Stop being so silly. <sighs> All right. Sorry, dear. Morning, folks. Um, last day at Birds Hill. Um, Weather is predicted to not be all that great. In fact, there's a severe thunderstorm warning or watch actually uh, up until like nine o'clock. However, um, from what I'm seeing on the weather radar, um, there's nothing anywhere near us anytime soon. And uh, but it is cloudy. Kind of disappointed that uh, there isn't really going to be uh, much of a an epic sort of sunrise like yesterday. Uh, with all the fog and the, the you know wonderful colors in the sky, kind of disappointing. But at least my wife can sleep in a little bit because she wanted to. She she got jealous from uh, you know what I saw yesterday. All right, I'm done feeding the cats and. Uh got back to the campsite and uh, let my wife sleep for a little while longer and uh, might as well just uh, go for a nice uh, walk along the, uh, the campground trails around here and uh, see what uh, what I can find and uh, I suppose the only thing that's really missing is a nice uh, sunrise like uh, the previous morning but uh, this will do I'm okay with that
this, uh, this seems like one of those uh, multiple choice uh, questions. A, campground store. B, beach concession. C, ranch. Or D, Manitoba horse. You decide, because I don't want to. So uh, does, does this sign mean that a guy with a, a, like a wide brimmed hat has some sort of radiation emanating from his pants that causes fires in that direction? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so I guess I was wrong about the, uh, the sunrise being not so spectacular. Oh well. Well, well, well. Looks like I'm not the only one that's uh, awake and uh, walking the uh, trails in the campground. Uh, looks like uh, mom and her uh, two kids are out probably waiting for the uh, convenience store to open up so they can grab some uh, ice cream or, uh, you know, newspaper or whatever. All right, kids, let's go. Let's just see if the convenience store is open. Let's go. Come on. Wait, what was that? Um, all right, let's go. Uh, mom? Mom? Where are you going? Can I get some bubble gum? Pretty please? Please? So, <clears throat> I had another crap night's sleep. Apparently I don't like to sleep in any other bed than my own. Um, even though technically the air mattress in my tent is my own bed. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I'm working on very little sleep right now, and uh, it's driving me crazy, crazier than I already am. Well, we thought we were prepared for uh, for camping. You know, we brought uh, sleeping bags, a tent, um, food, um, a lighter for lighting uh, the campfires, um, uh, water. Um, but we forgot the most important and vital tool of all: a spatula. Time to pack up the tent and all the camping gear. This ought to be fun. Didn't realize horses had a highway system around here. I mean, this, this is an overpass slash underpass and uh, wow, didn't realize I had that much traffic around here. Go figure. Well, this is still in Birds Hill Park. Uh, basically, it looks like a big amount of uh, prairie land. Um, you know, you've got nice tall grasses, uh, trees here and there, kind of thing, and uh, you know, little uh, little bits of flowery stuff like uh, like this. Um, and one hill in the entire area.
As you can see, uh, Birds Hill Park uh, experiments with some pretty dangerous science with, uh, you know, you see this long chicken coop here that they, they actually uh, raise extra long chickens, which I suppose is great for, you know, if you want like really long chicken tenders and such, uh, big slices of, you know, chicken breast meat. Weird science, man, just weird science. So anyway, uh, my time at uh, Birds Hill Park is done. Uh, my camping adventure is is over. I just have to go back to the campsite and uh, take down the tent and such and uh, back up the car. Uh, I'm tired, I wanna go home. On that note, see you next time. Uh, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe.